how's it going? I've been talking for five minutes with them. Well, three minutes this time, so. <laughs> hey. Um, live from Blue Cheese Room here in Dark Side of the Moon, I am the Loophole King, which I just said a minute ago. Nobody heard me. Yay. Um, we're going to be working on this uh, prison map for uh, Patreon Dungeon number one. Um, um, I've already started on some of this. Uh, Check us out on Patreon. Uh, there will be some new stuff going up on Patreon here soon. Um, I'm going to be starting to put up some map packs. And this is going to be uh, the first map in that map pack. Um, I have got this nice little dungeon here. Um, I don't have an entrance for it yet. I haven't decided how... <sighs> oh, I cannot get past the uh, yawns this morning. Uh, like I said, uh, as Pooh would say, it's a very blustery day outside. I had plenty of sleep, so we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't decided where to put the entrance yet. Um, if I'm going to put one in, um, this may be one of those dungeons where you're magically ported in. Um, I honestly think maybe the best place to put it is over here in the corner. Man, uh, I even took my vitamin D this morning. Just uh, somebody out there is making me sleepy. Um, we're gonna put that in there. So, uh, quick announcements: uh, we're gonna be starting putting these up on the Patreon page. So, sweet, right? Uh, more incentive. Uh, trying to get more incentive from my patrons, uh, from my patrons. Um, don't forget you can uh, like, subscribe these videos on YouTube as well. Don't forget to subscribe here at the channel if you'd like to donate. Um, we really could use your donations. Uh, we need to upgrade some of our technical stuff here uh, so we can bring you a better experience, uh, preferably a uh, better camera, better mic, uh, new set of headphones because, well, the duct tape on these guys are about, the uh, painter's tape on these are about ready to go out, so we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, plus, uh, you know, all your donations and your subscriptions all go to help keeping this stream alive. Uh, we're going to be adding another uh, campaign to this. So we will see what happens. Um, that being said, um, yeah, I think if I would put an entrance, I would put it here. Every time I should calculate this thing, this is dumb. Every time I start talking about it, it starts up. Um, so what I've done already here is, um, I, I, as you can see, first of all, um, I pretty much do this in two ways. So for my design, uh, let's go here to settings, go to trace image, and bring up the opacity. Um, so I use a trace image. Um, from a generated, random, generally generated map somewhere. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, find one I like and then I'll just draw in the boxes. Not the not the hallways and stuff because most of those, as you can see, they're just this hallway just kind of like wiggles around here, like here for no apparent reason whatsoever. Um, and once I get the boxes done, uh, then I go through and, pardon me one second, Sorry about that, and my nose is ah. Sorry, I live here in the Midwest. In the uh, yeah. darn it. Uh, in the great state of Kentucky, where if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes, it'll change. Um, so in here, oh, I know what it is. Uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> we'll fix that. Yeah, um, 
the heat's on for some reason. This one's making me yawn and tired. Not as cool as it can be in here. Um, so yeah, so I just draw the rooms. Um, maybe I add a little extra once I get all the boxes drawn. Um, and then I'll go through here. And uh, right now I'm using this pattern brush. Um, to put in, uh, I put in the walls. Basically I just draw the walls. And then I decide where I'm going to put the hallways myself. So all these hallways are mine. And added an extra box over here. And added uh, you know, a little uh, confusion down here for this one. Um, and then I go through and I use all my nifty little layers here. So on these up here, these are actually... Um, I'll show you how I did it. So I put in... When you're making the maps, it just puts in a generic floor. Uh, so you go here and you find uh, this one. Uh, like this. You just go in here and you go like this. And it'll make it look like it's a randomly raised and lowered texture. And then you take this one, fold across. And you get what appears to be an old um, uh, but you can do that with anything like over here uh, I use the uh, I use that um, I had been deciding to work on something else over here which I had already done but the computer crashed, the program crashed on me, so I did not get to save it. So, uh, when in doubt, always hit save. Um, so now I'm going to figure out what I was doing over here, and we're going to redo it. So let's go over here, and uh, basically, I think this was the most uh, Cobble Street. Let me just take a look to see what, nah, we don't like that one. Mosaic Marble. Kind of like Mosaic Marble. Let's take a look at that. That could be fine. Can we make that look better, though? What can we do to make that look more real? Put a shadow on it here. So you can add shadows. Um, let's see what it looks like when we put that. Raise the lower tiles on it. You see, it doesn't give it much difference. It doesn't. Oh, I know what it was. It was the marble. Which one was it? It was marble. It was this one. So, I believe, is it this one or this one? I think it was this one. Oh, oh, don't forget to take off the grid and the snap, otherwise you'll snap to the grids and sometimes you don't have the grids aligned properly. You just go like this. Fill in the spot here, like so. And then to make sure we think it looks proper, let's try this. See if this will work. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks good. I'm okay with that. Or oh no, it was this one. Aha. I found it. It was this marble. Oh, 
wasn't that horrible. See, this is the problem. Is when your computer decides to not play nice. Is it this one? Oh, that's ugly. And some of these you're just like, eh, that would look good in like a street or something. Or well, That's not too bad. There we go. Let's use that. We'll just use the stone flags. Like this. And then we had the wood damage overlay. Let's see, is this the right one? Nope. I don't think this is right. Uh, One of these looked like it was very directional. Ah, there it is. Make it scruffed. And I believe I had it at 40 degrees like this. Make it look like this scruff tile. But it was not it was not that one. This is the this is one of the, the creative part where oh no. This is ugly. There's snow. I think this will do it. these stone tiles. Well, yeah, well, we don't want to rotate like that, so we we'll put this back to zero. No, not negative six. Zero. This is in here like this. It's a fairly good one. Let me just go through here and we fill all this in here. Ever so slowly. Again, what you're looking for. For is to make your dungeon to look used and lived in. Because it is. Let's go against that edge a little bit better there. Control S for saving. Seeing the, the difference in tile. gives it a breaks up the look of the dungeon to a point where you can designate different areas. Right, exactly. That's fine. I'm gonna put a door there anyway. It's just as easy. Uh, control S on Dungeon Draft to say. Again, I'm using Dungeon Draft. Great tool. Very instinctive. Very easy to use. Uh, lots of free content that you do not have to buy to use to make this stuff really nice. You can make your own uh, texture layers, which is fairly easy if you have GIMP or Photoshop or something like that, uh, which is what I've done for some of these. 
Mostly you just want them to look fairly uniform. Because you can add stuff afterwards. And of course this is merely the floor. And there's a lot more to do here uh, than simply putting in a floor. I'm going to have to... Uh, and then while you're while you're putting in floors and stuff like this, you can start. Oh, that went too far. Uh, you can start thinking about what you want in these rooms. What's in this hallway? Maybe you want to put something weird in the hallways. Maybe you don't want this hallway. Maybe this hallway is different than all the other ones. Um, like I have an idea for one of these rooms like this one where I think we're going to bring the just bring it right to the doorway here and we're going to make this one a little different here uh, it's still made out of the same base but what I like to do is just think of it as when I'm, when I'm thinking about how I'm building these sections off is where exactly do I need to stop putting this flooring and start putting in a different flooring? If I want to do a different flooring, like I could have done, like you can honestly just do the whole map in the same way, but I think that's boring. I think that doesn't give your players the opportunity to see, you know, other stuff. Like having all my floors look exactly the same it's like, oh yeah, here's another floor. Like it, it, it starts to lose its um, appeal as a dungeon when every room floor is exactly the same. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop it on these sets of rooms here. Uh, these will be different. Uh, so then we go back up here and let's uh, go ahead and grab our a little shadow of wood damage overlay one I think is that what we want? I don't think that's what we want we wanted this one right yeah so if we want it to go the other way we want it to be About a 45 degree angle, all right? Give or take. Let's see how this looks. I think this is how we want it. Oh yeah, that's really good. See, that's all it takes. Just simple little just automatically just kind of colors in everything. Oh. 
basically this this kind of So don't get hung up on the fact that this says wood damage overlay. Because, yeah, it's supposed to be for wood and stuff, but that looks really cool. I must say. Also, doing multiple steps like this also helps you make sure you don't miss anything. Curses. I do like a little bit of consistency, so I do try to keep the oh, that should be it. That should have a negative in front of it, but we'll leave that one. Leave that room all weird. That's fine. This room was done once already. And if you add it again, it just makes it more it just makes it darker. So let's see like this and do it again it kind of reinforces that look make it a little bit more weathered in certain places even with like this you don't have to get perfect kind of want if they zoom in right there see that's the kind of thing that really gets me is missing that edge that's a personal problem for me and I forgot to put it back this here along this whole edge here too huh I just miss this. Which is, it, it seems like it might not be a big deal, but when your players are zoomed in on this map in the middle of a fight or examining the rooms and everything you put in there, um, you want it to look right. You want it to feel like it's an actual place. I mean, yes, there's a modicum of disbelief you know, suspension of disbelief that you need to worry about, but um, also, if you're new to making maps, Dungeon Draft is probably the easiest one to pick up. Um, I made a map in like three hours after buying it. You know what? Let's do this with this this hallway here. Oh, come on, man. <coughs> yeah, because see, that's horrible. Just 
straighten up the lines here. Uh, gotta have fancy smancy computers, right? Man, I missed a bunch of that stuff. I was just all sloppy, wasn't I? Alright, I'll fix that in a minute. making sure everything looks nice and I'm every year half assing it. Cause, you know, why not? Also do it like that. You can also just kind of like grab certain sections, make them look better. Like we can make this section here a little dirtier, and like this one, I like give it a shadowy feel across the top. sinuses are giving me crap today. I apologize. But I wanted to finish one of these maps up today. Well, I, mean, I don't think I'll get finished with this map today. There's a lot of stuff to do inside this map here. You know, let's just be honest. It's a pretty big map. Now we decide if let's put a light shadow. All right, so now that we've got that, let's go here and see how this looks. Oh no, that's a little too dark. Mm. Is this one lighter? No, it's darker. This one look like. Oh yeah, that one's good. So let's see here. I'll throw a little shadow over this. Make it darker. Yeah, that's, that's what we want, isn't it? But the shadows that are easy because the shadows blend in with the dark background. on a ridge so it doesn't stand out as much. You can get it on a seam, it doesn't quite stand out as much. this look. This little, uh, right. 
dark scruffy floor. I guess we're calling it dark worn tiles. <coughs> Black number one, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, we're just building some maps here. Did that get covered? Did it not get covered? In fair world, there should be right there. Come on, cover it up. There we go. Appreciate it. some map stuff. Good afternoon. Thank you for the follow. What brings you to the uh, dark side of the moon here in the blue cheese room today? some mapping making for uh, gonna start putting maps in patreon um, well awesome glad to see finally Twitter's doing something productive for me once um, right now I'm doing uh, uh, map making for patreon I am um they're add-ons. Um, some of them are just generic ones that I found uh, that people have. Um, other ones are some just random shadows and stuff you can do on, on GIMP or Photoshop. You can just make little textures. It's not that big of a deal. Um, these are from a texture pack. Um, I would love to say who I got the, where I got the texture pack from, but I think it was probably Reddit or Discord somewhere. Um, but these are just, this is just a shadow overlay. Um, what I've used is I've used the, we put in, uh, this stone tiles and then we went over it with, um, uh, wood damage overlay to give it this, uh, kind of a scratched look to it. And now I'm just using a, a generic, uh, shadow overlay over top of it to make it look like uh, make it look a little darker uh, so it fits the inside of this uh, slightly abandoned uh, temple um, the part about the, the one problem about the shadows is is you got to make sure uh, I, I recommend when you're using shadows like this to do it on a tile structure so you have these lines where you can overlay the edges so it doesn't because if you just, like, if I overlay it like this, that section gets darker than the rest. So the best thing to do is to find find a tile set or a, a you know, like cobblestone or something like that where you can hide the, hide the overlaps inside the, the texture itself. Um, one of the other textures that I really, really found that I liked out of this pack, and I, I will have to find this um i'll show you up here um what i did up here was <clears throat> i used the generic floor pattern uh with uh like the walls so like this one just the generic uh cobblestone building the walls uh, but then you go through with this pattern shape which is this one right here called square tiles height map overlay and what it does is it adds this broken here if I put it up here you can kind of well, 
let me click on it here okay, undo that uh, you can kind of see where it makes this it makes it look like broken up to an extent actually I think I missed it on this the spe speaking of which I think I actually missed it on this one there we go so it makes it look broken and then you just run the uh, uh, this overlay here that is square grout over top of it and when you pull back it makes it look like this broken grassy section um, and then I left this one not grassy because I wanted to I'm speaking of which I should probably fix it on here I should have gone like this no, I don't want the grass I just want the I just want the dark overlay. So do you make a lot of maps yourself? There we go, that's better. I recommend Dungeon Draft over Incarnate, to be honest. It's also very intuitive. Like, once you learn... Um, uh, I need a new video card because I gave my son my good video card, and I'm using one that's not quite as good, so some of the stuff... I can do this stuff with some of the caves and stuff are a little harder for me unless you have a fairly decent video card. But I will show you a trick that I learned quite recently um, about the uh, cave tool um, because I don't know if you've noticed but if you draw a cave um, you cannot uh, put down these tile sets right you can't put anything over top of it uh, because it puts it on a layer above everything else above the terrain so you can't put terrain down um, or the, you know, you can put in these pattern shapes, but that's not what you want, right? Like if you want to do something different. So I will show you in just a quick sec. Ah, I missed that one. Oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. I'm sorry. And then this one does not get the full shadow because this one is a clean room, which is a little bit. All right, so let's, let's save this real quick. And I will open a new book. Oh, little quick one and I'll show you I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you the trick so if you use the cave draw to cave brush and just kind of draw a cave right let's draw let's let's make this thing kind of big here I mean, just make this big cave here right so what this blast open is supposed to do is make a hole in your cave right well if you notice if we zoom in here uh, let's go to this terrain and try to brush in some ter ter terrain right you notice that on our cave it didn't put any it didn't put shit all right doesn't do nothing uh, but if we take our uh, if we go back to the cave brush and go to the blast open watch if you do it on the inside it erases the floor of the cave allowing us to apply a texture to it instead. Uh, this map's not that big. Uh, so you can erase, I mean, you can also erase part of the cave. Um, what it's supposed to do, what it's supposed to be for is, like, let's say I put a big building right here, right? And I want my cave to run up against my building and. You know, let's come back here. So let's say I got a big uh, lag. Uh, I did too much at once. <laughs> uh, yes, it, it also Dungeon Draft also does not like to be hurried. I've noticed. So if you try to like uh, Control Z your way back like six or ten or twelve steps real quick, um, it loses its mind. Um, 
I'm sorry, you have to give me a minute here. But yeah, that's for. Um, I just have to task manager the hell out of this thing here, real quick. Oh, I just shut down on its own. Oh, good. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, you can't back, you can't back out, like, you can't control Z, like, 16 things in a row real quick. You can't just, like, mash the button. Um, because what it does is it, the way I, the way I've, it seems to me is that, like, it tries to undraw it. So it's going to use about half of the computing power it did to draw it to take it off instead of just, you know, removing it, like, Photoshop would, um, because it's you know because of the layer system I think, um, so you have to be really careful. Uh, so let's go back here, then do that again. Pop open these generic stuff here. Um, yeah, there's a there's a couple of little tips and stuff that I use that I've. YouTube is a big. I cannot stress enough. Watch YouTube videos on it. Um, uh, join the uh, Discord uh, for Mega Splute. Those guys are. I mean, I'll show you the. Uh, I have the Forgotten Realms, the community stuff, the Two Minute Tabletop stuff. Um, two Minute Tabletop's got a bunch of free stuff. Uh, you can join a couple of these guys' Patreons, and they have just huge, you know, like a dollar, three dollars uh, for their Patreon, and you can just get huge libraries of, you know, uh, assets. <clears throat> Forgotten Adventures is a really good one. Uh, the Discord is a uh, mega blue. Let me find it. I'm on the Discord. Let me find it. Where did I? Do, 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 Discord. Uh, do, do, do. It is... Uh... Yeah, it's just mega splute. The people who made it. Uh, oh, you do have the Discord. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were asking, do I have the Discord? I'm like, ah, it's just somewhere in my giant list of Discord lists. Um, the other thing is, is the more, uh, when you go to load your uh, map, depending on which map you want to make, the less amount of assets that you have to use to make it, the better. Because one, as you see, I'm just, I'm, I'm still loading, just trying to get to a new map because of all the things that it has to load um, because I have everything checked. I have all of it. Especially when I start a new map, I'm not sure what I'm going to do sometimes. So I'll just load all my assets. I'll tinker around with an idea or a concept or something. And then I'll be like, Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't need the ocean tiles, right? I didn't need anything for the ocean. I didn't put any water in this village, right? There's no stream or river or it's not up against the, you know, a lake or something. So I can take out all the water stuff. Um, there's no bodies, right? So I can take out all the dead body stuff. Um, I can take out a bunch of, you know, there's no volcanoes. There's no cliffs. You know, there's no, you know, you can start whittling away at that list. So when you load it, it goes, oh. Uh, T3. Uh, T3's packs. I think those are. Oh, and Tiger, I see Apothecary, Most Beast Map Token Collection. Like, yeah, if you just want to, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, clip the stream here real quick and just filter through all these that I have loaded, you can probably look them all up. Um, uh, do you have the. Uh, what's it called? Let me figure out the name of this stupid thing. Uh, Mythkeeper is the name of it. 
Uh, oh. Um, Mythkeeper. If you haven't downloaded Mythkeeper, Mythkeeper is awesome. Uh, Mythkeeper automatically downloads your stuff for Wonder Draft and Dungeon Draft. Uh, so you can basically go through the community uh, that have posted a bunch of stuff on there. Some of it's free, some of it's not free, some of it you can use for uh, commercial uses, some of it you can't. Uh, some of it uh, you have to pay some, uh, but it'll download it and put it directly into the appropriate folder for you. <coughs> so you can do that. Wow, there's a big giant list of stuff that I got going on here. Don't I? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. 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 Just stop. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm not responding. Yeah, if you go to just uh, look up Myth Keeper for Dungeon Draft or Myth Keeper, uh, just install that and it'll kind of walk you through. Um, you can you can load uh, a ton of assets that way, which is what I did. I went through and went, oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. That looks cool. That looks cool. That now, do I use them all all the time? I think I've got a couple of map assets that I've used maybe once, um, but. The amount of the the ease in which you can use Dungeon Draft is phenomenal compared to Incarnate, I think. I don't feel like Incarnate's uh, interface is user-friendly. At least not for me. So, that's, that's a personal preference. Um, I know there's a lot of people that like Incarnate. Um, I just don't. Yeah. Come on. You can do it. Patreon dungeon number one. There we go. Mm, open my dungeon back up here real quick. Um Yeah. Uh Mythkeeper's really nice. Uh What is all of that? Oh sweet Patreon money came in. Woohoo! Always use more patrons. I like I said, this is. <clears throat> um, I'm starting to. Um, I do a lot of maps for friends, and I've decided that since I do a lot of maps anyway, I should probably start bundling them um, and putting them up on Patreon, so my patrons can have access to a bunch of my maps. Um, I also do uh, Twitch overlays. Um, I run a. <laughs> I run a couple of games uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will not be playing uh, because we have one of our players is out at a work uh, thing. So he's got like real life stuff he has to do. So I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what's more important than playing D&D, &D, but who knows, right? Get this thing to come back up again. Another good resource for you is. Uh, it's. Put this up on this. Loading. Oh, excuse me. For some reason I started yawning as soon as I started the stream like this. Horrible attack of yawns. Come on, open up. That's going to be one of those, huh? Engine draft is chewing up all my memory. Yeah, 
Dungeon Draft is a resource hog, man. Like, it is not. <laughs> Sometimes you're at it and it's just like, this is not for the faint hearted computer. Like, you cannot do Dungeon Draft on a potato, it just won't work. Like, that's. <laughs> I've had to upgrade several things. I need a new video card. Mm. Attack of the yawns. I'm going to start getting cranky here in a minute. This doesn't load. Load, you piece of junk. Slow ass. Oh, yeah. Invest in a really good video card if you want to do multiple things on these things. I have plenty of memory. Uh, my uh, video card is just out of date, is my problem. Uh, let me go here to resources. Come on, Dungeon Draft. Finish up, man. You're just chewing up stuff. Yeah. Um, so, let's go. World building. Um, a couple of places. <laughs> Didn't know I had a fan until you started running Dungeon Draft. Yeah, that's... <laughs> What's that sound? Um, uh, one good place to go is uh, uh, Watabu. Uh, w a t a b o u. The forest man I had up. Oh, the first map. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it is still loading. Uh, uh, that yeah, it is. It's one twenty eight by one twenty eight. Um, yeah, Watabu. Dot itch. Dot io. Uh, it's a. If you look up Watabu, it's a fantasy map generator. Uh, for cities. Uh, there's Agana uh, Asgar's fantasy map generator. Um. There's also Donjon, which I like a lot, which is what I do. Um, uh, random Dungeon Generator. So if you use the Donjon, D-O-N-J-O-N, Donjon Random Dungeon Generator, uh, you can set a bunch of stuff, and then you can construct it. <coughs> and it'll give you a picture that kind of looks like this. And then you can do like player map, right? And you can download the player map. Uh, I'm not going to do this one. But what I do is I normally take these, I don't know if you can see it right now on the screen, um, but I take these maps, these kind of randomly generated maps. And what I do is I use them. Um, if you didn't know that you could do it, once this. Uh, comes up here. Uh, you can use uh, it has a, a function on it that allows you to um, uh, use an over use it as an underlay. Basically, it's a trace image. Uh, the First one is Watabu, W A T A B O U. Um, and the second one is Don John, D O N J O N. Uh, it'd be Don John Dungeon Generator, uh, which is what I use for this. Um, I'll show you once this thing finishes loading for the next 800 years. Um, 
<coughs> what I normally do is I, uh, if I'm just building like a, a, a dungeon map, um, because I don't want to spend all day on it, um, I go in, I go to Donjon, I set the parameters. Uh how big you can set it square which is what I did so it'll it'll leave a square um, it'll basically make it a square but it'll leave a square section out of the center so it'll all be around a, 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 a square one and you can make it symmetrical you can do all sorts of things with it um, but what I do is I normally uh, just generate a bunch of random ones until I find a layout that I like with uh, and I don't pay attention to the um, hallways forget about the hallways just look to see if the room the way the rooms look are the way you want um ah uh, look at me um and then uh oh good she crashed again because you know, I'm trying to stream the stupid thing. Um, <coughs> uh, and then I use that as a as a template, and I just draw in the rooms, and then I fill in the hallways, and maybe add rooms or take a room out. Um, depending on how I feel about the. Ah, here we go. We're back. Um, yeah, so this one was a square. You notice that we left the section out, but I kind of filled it in a little bit. So you can go here to settings and go to trace image and pick a map of any kind. Um, and what I've done is, is I used one of those from Don John. Uh, you can see that this one's not exact. Um, like their hallways are really janky. Um, I didn't care for them. I don't normally. Um, then you scale it up to the size of the picture that you want, uh, the size of the map that you want, and then you can uh, go through and just, like I did, is I just went through and I pseudo, um, one big hint is turn off grid, turn off snapping when you're, when you're doing these kind of things. And then if you do that, so if you see I just kind of basically made the same kind of rooms, and then fade this out and go back to what I was doing with the pattern shape tools um, just kind of filling this kind of stuff in um, because I like putting in my own hallways uh, because I believe that it's easier for you to do your own hallways um, because you know what you want the dungeon to look like like finding like generic rooms patterns is, is you know, it saves you a lot of time because you can just take you just take the building tool and just go. There's a room, right? That's, that's all you have to do. Um, uh, but um, I, like I said, I just kind I just like find one that I, I just ran put random until I find one I like, and then uh, the best thing to do is download the player's version because it doesn't have all the secret doors or anything on it. But you're going to replace all those anyway. Um, and then just find a random map that you like, download it, and then use it as the trace feature, and then just go over and just, it doesn't matter what you do it as. I always try to use the cobblestone one or either the, one of the, the smart doubles or the sewers, um, and just throw these down. Uh, just make the rooms in a generic Side like you don't have to be exact about how big the room is because you're going to add like all of these hallways are mine. Um, I added a couple extra rooms. Um, I threw in these little divots here because these are supposed to be straight, and I threw these little divots in to make them kind of look like they're part of the same building, you know. And you can design your dungeon around which way they want to which way they want to get in. Um, and I need uh, right now. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want this section here to connect to all of this. I, I don't know if I want my players coming in here, doing a little bit, and then working their way around it, or if they can go either or. Um, 
Sometimes I like the open world where they can go anywhere, and sometimes I like to have them in a sort of a directed response. Um, yes, I import them into a VTT. Um, I use uh, Foundry, uh, which has a module, uh, a free module that will, um, one, of the, 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 one of the very specific reasons I use Foundry is it will take, uh, here let me pull up Foundry. Uh, uh, I'll pop Foundry open here real quick. Um, Foundry has a module that will import your dungeon draft specific maps uh, in uh, with walls with your dynamic lighting that you've gotten built. Um, so let's say here, uh, let's go to uh, effects. Let's go to this light tool here and let's add uh, Let's add us a really big, fiery looking light here. Oh yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's put this big specter light here. Um, well, I don't like that color. Let's try a different color. Let's go here and go for... I want it to be like a reddish color. And deep red. Come on, man. Give me that deep red color right there. There we go. I'm going to put that there. And just toss it in there. Yeah, um, so if you go to Foundry, let me, uh, pull up my workspace here real quick. Um, I use uh, yeah, Kanu X. Um, I, uh, if you use Foundry, uh, make a world that is a uh, workspace so you can test your modules any new modules that you want uh, any new um, uh, things you want uh, should already have my attention Oh, it doesn't. Um, these are all the ones that you can have. This is all the ones I have downloaded. There we go. Dungeon Draft Importer. Save module. Uh, so when you go to your uh, create scene, you have your create scene, create folder, and down at the bottom you have Dungeon Draft Import. And we'll call this Prison. Right, import. Uh, oh, sorry, storage. Add another file. Choose file. Do 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 do. do. Uh, that's in the tokens we want to go to create our content maps. Maps, foundry maps. Oh. oh no, I moved them to here. Pardon me while I find out where I remember I put my stuff. That's one of the other things, don't forget where you put your crap. Uh, so here's one. Uh, you, you, uh, let's do Jaleika's cave. We'll open, import that one. Call it cave. Or whatever. And hit import. And it'll upload your image. It'll import all of your walls. It'll import all of your text and all of your dynamic lighting at one time. 
unlike roll 20 where you have to go if I were to make this in roll 20 which is I was what I was using before or one of the other maps I would have to go in and redo the wall boundaries for everything I would have to go in and put in all the dynamic lighting back in that I already put in when I made the map the first time um, it's uh, yeah it's so much better than having to do that it honestly is um, so I can go here and go to configure uh, I'm going to turn off uh, turn this up Turn up the darkness level some like to hear. Um, also, I like the fact that you can add playlists and weather effects and crap like that. Um, also, on Foundry, a very good thing is when you design a map, zoom in on a spot where you want your players to come in at and hit initial view position. And it'll lock that in, which means that when you load this. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, uh, choose file. Let's uh, the cultist cave. Import the cultist cave. And yeah, we'll go to the cultist cave. Save changes. So here's the cultist cave with all my dynamic lighting and everything. Woo! Uh, doesn't have anything else in it, but. Um, but when you go back over to here, it should start you back in in the same spot. Uh, notice all my doors are. It gives me all my doors. Um, this one was this one I haven't fixed from Rule Twenty. Um, but the other thing is, is I can just go in here and put in a light source. Like this, there's my light sources. I'm gonna put a light source in here and put a light source right here, and it'll only show you. So that's that's what you'll get from those. Like these are, and what you can do here for this is it's so cool. If I have the uh, no, I don't have the right one in there, but I can use uh, Mysterious Emanation. Yay. Uh, and change the color to bright red. This is a pulsing wave. Wooga, 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 wooga. Yeah. This is, you know, I need to change this light, and we can change this light to, let's make this color yellow, so here, and then we go this one to Swirling Fog. And then I can move this one to here, move this one underneath it, and then delete this one. Yeah, this one is running local. Um, this one, this is the one I use for, this is my, my, my workload. Uh, this is where I finish things, um, uh, before I, before I port them into my actual campaigns. Um, I, I, I test things and make sure everything looks nice, make sure they run properly, you know, make sure the map functions the way that I want it to, um. Uh, because if it doesn't, then I get cranky. Um, because the last thing you want is to go live and have one of your um, maps not function the way it wants to. Um, so <laughs> that's that's a really big um, yeah. This this map is yeah 128 by 128. This is 12 percent. If I were to take it to 100, uh, here's what it looks like at 100 percent. So. 
This is a quite a large map. I think I'm putting the entrance in down here. I think I'll let them go either way. So I need to put in a... Either... They have to get in from this way, this way, or this way. Where do I want them to get in from? Because this is all connected. I think I want to put it in here. I think I want to just put this hallway in here. Um, to put in a hallway or put in a door here. I know. I'll just add a. S I, don't, I know what I'll do. I'll add a secret door right here. And a little five foot hallway here. Well, oh, that is not the right. It should be H1 wall at that color. There you go. Gotta keep things consistent. Um, and so we'll put in a secret door here. That if they find it they will be most welcome to enter this room here. If they don't find it, they're... I jinked up. So I'll put a trap in there. But I think that's what I'll do. I'll, so I'll throw a trap down in there too. Secret door with a trap. Because, you know, it's what they deserve. Right? Poking their noses in somebody else's business. Right? I'm just a look I'm just a lonely necromancer trying to raise a family my friend you know what the hardest thing about raising a family as a necromancer is finding them all buried in the same place there's my D&D &D dad joke for the day you're welcome Uh, and this one we're going to add the uh, grass to. We're going to add this. Uh, gonna add this uh, here to it. Give it this worn in look. Here, and then we're going to uh, throw in a light shadow. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. Yep, Streamlabs is pimping me out. Sign up for my stuff. It'll be fine. It won't cost you anything. I mean, well, not, not anything more than you would normally have to pay for uh, low-quality product at a great price. I'm like the Wally world of D&D. &D. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just <laughs> um, and this one, this one I want to be, um, this is going to be the, which one was it? Uh... Was it this one? No, yeah, this one. Uh, so this one we're going to throw in this uh, marble tile. Because um, the effect it gives to this 
It's awesome. So then we're going to put in. There we go. I like that vine. And we come down here to this uh, shadow here. I think this is what I want, like this. Nope, not that one. Uh, where, where, where was it? Is it these? So now you get this marble floor that's kind of messed up. It's got these vines all over it. Put them in that room there. And then uh, I guess we're going to continue with the marble floor. This way. The problem with a marble floor is you have to make it look like it doesn't, it's not just one goofy piece. Oh no, that's the mosaic room. My bad. Gotta remember where I have a, uh, a one of my PCs has uh, a trinket from their past, uh, from their previous life um, that I might want to use in this as well. actually use this map. I mean, I did make it. I'd like to probably use it a little bit. Um, yeah, this is this is my map making process. Just kind of janking it around. Um, like I said earlier, I don't know if you heard, I like making uh, different textures and stuff in different sections of a, of a dungeon so it makes it first of all it makes it feel like it is a different an entirely different section um, because what happens is is your players will wander down a hallway and then wander down another hallway and then wander down another hallway and pretty soon they just ignore what the floor looks like right and you're like oh I went to all this work and you guys just don't care and you're like it all looks the same to us man um, but when you change the dynamic of the floor, it also affects how the lighting works. It affects how the um, PCs will regard what's in the room. Like, yeah, this room is you know, kind of worn and stuff. But then you get down here, it's like, holy crap, what happened here? Right? The visual effect of what happens to your rooms is just as important as the monsters or other stuff that you put in your room. It's just as important. And the reason is, is your players um, will react to the visual of the room um, almost immediately when they see the map. They will look at the, because they're going to be, you know, they'll click on the door, the door will open, and they'll get a view of what the room looks like. And I'm a big fan of the less I have to describe to my players and let their, let their imagination kick in. If I can visually create that for them. As opposed to basically going, okay, well you see a wall and it's got a thing on it and you see this. When you can have them open the door... Um, and visually see it's like holy crap that's why what is that thing on the floor there what what is that thing in the corner why is there a big ghostly blue light oh hanging over there you know oh look we're in the torture room well how do you know that well there's a guy being tortured over in the corner like the those kind of things that they can see ahead of time sets the tone before you have to tell them anything because then they'll start asking because then they'll start asking the questions and you don't have to go what are you doing and you're like well, what's I, i'm gonna go over here and take a look at this what's this and you're like okay well i'm gonna go look at this or i'm gonna investigate this corner 
Uh, well, what does this desk got in it? Um, and that really is a, a DM cheat for me because I make the players do the work, honestly. Like when the players are like, what's over here? What's over there? I know what's in the room. I just, I don't want to have to spend, you know, 40 minutes describing what's in the room for them when they can just look at it and fill in the blanks. Or maybe, or maybe sometimes you get lucky and one of your players will think of something uh, that you hadn't thought of, right? And you're like, man, I know there's a mimic in this room. Right, or I know that this is a thing, or maybe he was using this for this, and you can pick little nuggets out of them for it. Actually, I don't want that one to be the mosaic. I want the big one to be. I want that one to be the mosaic room. Yeah. Always use your players as free inspiration on what to do with them next. Because they'll give you a lot of hints on what they want to see and what they don't want to see while you're they're walking down the dungeon hallway. Like, man, I swear, if there is a zombie behind this door, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm like, yeah, guess I'm putting a zombie behind this door. Or, better yet, you put a dead body um, sitting in a chair with like a magic mouth on it so that it, it, it automatically starts talking to them as it, they when they enter the room and trigger the magic mouth it starts to talk so they think it's a zombie or something it starts going uh, uh, you know like a like one of those really crappy uh, uh, answering machine things where you're faking hello hello so the the corpse is sitting in the chair they open the door and it goes uh, You know, the party freaks out on him real, you know, freaks out. It's like, oh, it's a zombie, I swear it's a zombie. And they hack at it, and all of a sudden, the, the, it's, it continues like, ha you thought I was a zombie. Welcome to my trap. And the door slams behind them, and the room starts to fill up with water. <laughs> or the walls start to close in, or the floor collapses, and they fall into a pit of actual zombies. Or, you know, any kind of other thing like that. But you can just really play havoc on them. Or there's nothing. It's just the guy's messing with them. Like, it could totally be... You have you fall in my trap. And then the door slams shut. And locks. And that's it. It just locks It just locks them in the room. You'd be surprised what kind of terror your party will create on its own when the door slams shut and locks on its own. Oh, we're all going to die. It's going to fill with gas. Do you smell anything? Is there any water coming in? Are the walls moving? They will search that room for four hours. They will spend an entire gaming session trying to figure out what's wrong with that door and can they unlock it. It's hilarious. It's awesome. I love it. I do it to my friends all the time. I'm like, I wouldn't have thought of that if you guys had not said anything. I wonder if it's a mimic. Well, it is now. <laughs> it wasn't a minute ago. <laughs> but I guarantee you that treasure chest is a mimic now. <laughs> Why? Because you guys wanted a mimic. No, I said, be careful. It might be a mimic. I'm like, hey, you're right. And your character will automatically assume that he was right in all contexts where he thinks things are mimics from now on. Because he was right this one time. He's like, you're an ass. I'm like, yeah, I am. Totally. I'm totally an ass. But it's also funny as hell. Don't let your players get away with stupid shit like that. Catch him in one of those stupid... Yeah, I bet he's a death knight. Well, actually he is. Uh, the group I used to play with all the time, um, which has transformed over the years, um, our big... Uh, our big running joke was, uh, you found the eye in the hand of Vecna, and he's wearing them. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, you found the powerful artifacts. You also found the powerful artifacts. They, the, the, 
evil demigod that they belong to. And he's wearing them. You're like, oh, son of a bitch. Uh, let's see. This needs to end where? This needs to go... I think I want to switch it at the edge of this hallway. To be honest. Right, let's save here. Uh, actually, bring it down a little more. Yeah, right there. That seems like a good spot. Okay. That's good. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, throw this on top of everything again to make it look like it's tiled. A little bit here. Uh, no problem, man. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'm just going to... I'm going to be doing this till... Probably another hour or so. I got to get some of this done. Be safe. Have fun at work. Come in. For those of you that want to enter and interrupt me for the eighth billionth time, yes, can I help you? Is it okay if I take some medicine medicine for my headache? Yes, you can take medicine for your heads and mates. A low strain. <laughs> This takes so much time. But it looks good. That's the thing. Right? Mm hmm. Let me, let me finish this real quick and I'll show you that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I got some uh, grass in there and a grout. Pretty neat, huh? Mm hmm. I'm go back and finish up these sections. I'm not sure where I'm going to put in this. I think I might. I'll take her out and feed her. She hasn't been fed yet. She got fed at lunchtime. Okay. Do you think the once or the twice looks better? Huh? Which looks better? Once or twice? From a gameplay standpoint, twice would be better so you can clearly see which, where, what is where. Or can I just do, like, that looks pretty good. Random points like that? Mm hmm. I like that better. Also, I need this for my chair since my armrest is killing itself for some reason. Uh, that's on you. I don't know what to do. Mm. Uh, I bet you shut the door. Why did not? No, stop. I want squares. Uh. Which creative shape does not intersect upon itself? Sure, I will. I'll sh create a box. How's a box? The box sound good? The box is fine. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Um, I do like the twice look that I had. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I think is we're gonna do the combination of those. Is First, we get all these down as a single layer. Save your work, save your work. Always save your work.
probably missed like half of it at that time. Anyway, actually. Luckily it doesn't matter because it aligns itself properly. Here, to here, more of this stuff. Ta I think that's all of it. Yep, starts there, comes down here, goes that way, here. No, missed this all the way here to here. spots here like this. this concept. That is really nice. That really breaks up that pattern. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I can't intersect myself. Yada, yada, yada.
do some black marble here. Come on, really? Because I like the white marble, black marble contrast here. Chat, tell me what you think. Any suggestions? I'd be more than happy to take them. I uh, had a tendency to ramble sometimes. Whoa! What's going on there? Stop it. Definitely need to control S saves in Dungeon Draft. Do that often because um, I want this one. Oh yeah, this is this is the one that's in water. So I have to remember that one. Good one here. I am going to just do the flooring and stuff for uh, well yes 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 I'm going to probably going to draw a square that doesn't intersect itself they all, none of them do To, to this map as a free map uh, with nothing in it, just just the basic floorings, um, and then the, my patrons will get a copy of this map in the map bundle with uh, fully loaded with all the uh, doors and special effects and glowing lights and crap like that and then we want this one to not be that and this one to not be that either so we want those to look different put this in here Like I said, you really don't want to break up the, uh, it's definitely all black up there. Black marble going this way. I don't know if that came out the edge of it. I want to do it this way then, it seem to be much easier. Seriously. Now where do we 
stop. I think that's where we. That's all the black. I probably think. I want to make this room the regular room and that one the oddball. I think we can do all these in black. That's fine. Would you stop? My finger keeps slipping off the button. And this room is definitely different. Most assuredly. Oh man. It sucks. It's all fine. Everything's fine. That's what happens when you work with goblin contractors, man. Tell them they have to fix something and you just tear everything up and start over. Imagine if the goblin started to unionize. Ugh, yeesh. That'd be horrible. I don't think I can handle it. What do you think? Quick poll. Should the goblin constructors of this dungeon unionize? Or are they safer not doing that? And avoiding the wrath of the Lich King. Or evil necromancer, technically. But I mean, I, I mean, eventually he'll be a Lich, so. It's not presumptive to call him a Lich King at the moment. And the secret door here. Booyah! And in there, and then this is this one. That, and then like so. There we go. Do it again, just to be so sure. Nice and nasty. There we go. darker. Is that what I want? Hmm. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Dark, not dark. I mean, I have more shadows. I can do this. I did with everything else. And I don't like that look. Bigger shadow. Oh, 
darker shadow as it is. I didn't hear nothing. This one. Nope. Put some grout in here. Yeah. That was horrible. Nobody wanted to do that. Uh, is this going to benefit from me? Scratchiness? No. Is it this one? I can't see that one. I can barely see that one. Yeah, that one's in the wrong color. Do this. There we go. Nice dark overlay over everything. That's not a shadow, that's just pitch black. That's a shadow, alright. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I can fix this with lighting. Alright. So I've decided that I'm going to put the entrance right here. So we're going to go back to building tool. Dog attack, dog attack. I have to find the right rocks. Um, I took her out and she went, but. But what? But I think she had to go out again. You didn't take her out again? Because she keeps biting at me. You didn't take her out again. I don't know what to tell you. What do you want me to do about it? Done with your work? Yeah, but I was gonna go back and do an optional thing. Why? So I can be ahead in math next week. So I, so, so I don't have to do as much next week. I'm gonna do it this week, right? No, it's like yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's so uh, I can. I saw. Know it. Huh? So I can know it. I'm just teasing with you, baby. You're fine. 
<laughs> wow, that is not the right. That is not good for a dog. <laughs> what is wrong with that dog? I don't know. She is losing her mind. It's going to take me a while, everybody. I have to learn how to do a mosaic puzzle. Oh no, that is not good. Uh -oh. You have to put that on every single spot. Well, no, I have to. The entire room. Well, no. So, so basically, what I want is I want a, a, a I want a, a a dark colored base color, right, like this. Mhm. Mm as the, as the floor base. That's not dark. That's not dark enough, is it? You have to, like... Dark yeah. Enough. You have to darken it. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, so... You have to go closer to the black to get it to darken. That's fine. See, it blends in as long as you... If you go over the thing, why doesn't it color it? Color what? The, the border that you made. This, that's a wall. Oh. <laughs> that is a wall. It will not call a wall because this is a floor. <laughs> oh, that is, okay. that makes a lot of sense. <coughs> now we want like this earthy tone, right? It should be, oh no, it should be in a square like this. Oh yeah, I can do it like this. Aha. Grid snap. Lopsided. That does not look do lopsided. It is lopsided. I, I meant that looks lopsided. What is she chewing on underneath? Get her out from under there. I don't okay, take her, take her I outside. Don't take the dog outside. And take the dog outside. Do we want a, a burnt orange color next, or we want to slide it into a bluer color? I think we want to slide it into a bluer color like this. That's good. What a good color. Okay, that's a good color. 
and then we'll slide it into the greens. Make it a little lighter here. What? We are going up front. Okay. acceptable. We're on the brighter side here, more of a tangerine. A tangerine, really? Tangerine. No, stop! <laughs> making it the wrong size and it needs to be a little darker right there Sure. 
It's very colorful. Why is this from Rainbow? <laughs> it's a rainbow mosaic. And this seems to be a deep color like this. No Daisy. Daisy, no. Nope. That? Ah, that's better. And then a big giant yeah. orange one in the middle or what color we need here? Looks anyway. like you need like something like bright. Like a white? Roof. No. Actually, yeah. You I feel like you need symmetry here. Like this needs to be the same color as this and this is white. Why? Cause All right, fine. I don't know. We'll do symmetry. <laughs> I can do symmetry. Symmetry is easy. <laughs> Boink. Same color. <laughs> it's just, it seems, I don't know, it just seemed not even something. Well, it's not even because these things aren't even, but that's fine. And let's put the white one in. Wait. This one's going to be hard because it's technically not the same size-ish. Yeah. Well, these aren't the same size, so it's uh, fine. They're, they're close they're, enough. They're really close. <coughs> That's... Alright, now... I don't think anybody's watching. Hmm? Nobody's chatting. There's two people watching. Okay, with the work. Um, now we have to do this in reverse. So, we take this one, and we do what? blue. Wait, what? What are you, wait. Oh. What are you doing? What? Uh. That's purple. So, shouldn't you do red, orange, yellow? Oh, no, you need to put, no. You need to put red first, and you need to make red the biggest. If you're doing it in reverse, then you want that to be the okay, bottom okay, layer okay. and that to be the Let's top start layer. Start with this one. No, start okay. with this one. This one. Yes. That one. Yes. Not this color. No. You sure? Well, wait. If you're doing it in here, maybe you should make these a little darker. Like that. That would be. That would be fine. There. Uh, no. No. You need to do the same color. <laughs> okay, so we start with this one. Yeah. And you make it the biggest. Because that's your top one. You need that to be first. Instead of it being your top layer, you need it to be your bottom layer. There. If you're doing it in reverse. Okay. So now you click the dropper again. This, this is actually cool. Oh, that's that's. Stop it! Stupid machine. <laughs> Look the way I want it to. Are you wanting it to be like a like an eye or something? No, I want it to be. Uh, you need to rotate it, don't you? Like, you need it to be like that way. Yeah. And then yellow, green, blue. Yeah. Purple. But I can't do that. I would have to hand draw that. So, we're going to skip that part. We're going to go down here. We're going to choose a color. We are going to pick the dark blue in the center. Except That's purple. That's that it? out one. Isn't that purple? Close enough. Uh, stop, uh, stop picking stuff. <laughs> oh, no. Edit points. I want to edit points. I want to do this. I'm going to zoom in here. Right here. 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 And here. Looks like a nice kite shape. Yay! Is that what you wanted? A 
Okay, Jim. Yes, but I want okay. to. Um, You've been streaming point. for like two hours. Okay, Daisy. Okay. We know you're here. We're just focusing okay. on the time. Okay. Stop it. Stop it, baby. Stop. You're all the time. You silly dog. Stop it. You're a silly doggo. Stop it. So what what made you start streaming look, this? I need look. That shape. I need that shape over and over and over again. Then just I don't remember how to do it. And just go what? back. Probably just trace it, copy it, paste it. And make it the, well, and make it the well, size you want. It lets me edit the tools. It lets me move these things around, which is fine. But I don't want to do that. I just want to. No, not this. Where? Trace. No, that's trace image. That's the thing that's in the background. Mm. That I've already used. Well then, this doesn't. Is there some way? That so, you could... That I can copy it? Yes, I'm <clears throat> I'm almost absolutely sure there's a way I can do that. No. I don't know how. No. I mean, is there a way that you can, like, exit out of this for a second? And, like... Control S. Save. Yeah, I can look it up. But I'm going to yeah. go ahead and stop streaming right now, because... Daisy. Because Daisy's going kind of crazy over here. Right now, that's fine. Daisy. Get up here. Calm down. Right now, that's fine. Out! Stop! <laughs> Stop! Oh, I know what I need ow, to do. Ow, ow. This is fine. Stop Watch it. this. Stop! <laughs> we are having doggo difficulties here. <laughs> we are having doggo difficulties over here. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> we have a very major double difficulty. It's fine. <laughs> there. She's. <laughs> she's very. <laughs> it won't undo all this. All right. I'll close this. Save. Okay. I've been streaming for like two hours. Yeah, I've been streaming for two hours. Uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for uh, checking us out. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Click the wrong button. Oh no. Yeah, uh, I, I clicked the wrong button as I am wont to do. Uh, yeah. Thank you for checking us out. Uh, check this out on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to figure out what I need to do for that, that room. Um, but yeah, check us out on Patreon. These will start to go up in uh, February, uh, these map packs. So check us out. Uh, that being said, uh, everyone, uh, have a great afternoon. Uh, have a great evening. Uh, may all your draws be lands and may all your rolls be crits. Signing out here for me and Miss M uh, from the uh, Bougie's room here on the dark side of the moon. Laters.